In this five-minute video, I'm sharing my experience and lessons learned with the McCulloch Rob 1000 robotic lawnmower. Any robotic mower is going to involve a setup process, learning about its capabilities, making adjustments, and a gradual optimization process to come up to full speed, both for you and the mower. The Rob 1000 by McCulloch is priced like an entry-level riding mower, but offers the freedom of almost never pushing or riding a mower again. I'll start with an overview of my home's lawn, pointing out which areas are good and which are bad for robot mowing. I'll show you a time-lapse video of how the mower performs on a small area so you understand how it works, then show you how it worked on a larger area, including some trouble spots I had with steep inclines. I'll wrap up with eight recommendations on how to use the Rob 1000 in your yard. Looking at my own property, I have a lot of hills, plus some island locations. The Rob 1000 can handle islands. I started with a small 180 square foot area that's relatively flat. Then I staked out a larger 2200 square foot area in the flat part of my yard. That's about one quarter of the maximum area the Rob can handle. I found these areas in between were too hilly for the robot. Here's my yard from the side view. That small island is on the left in red again. Then the pink areas where I tried the robot on hills. And finally, the yellow areas where I found the best use. This time lapse spans 20 minutes of the mower working in just 180 square feet. Based on McCulloch's mowing rate of about 500 square feet per hour every day, 20 minutes is about the time the mower needs to completely cover the area. Robot mowers, like robot vacuums, move around the space, eventually covering the entire area. It's small and low, but works all day, every day, and man is it quiet. After seeing how well this worked, I tried the mower on my steeper hills. Boy, would I love a robot to handle that work, but I'm afraid the Rob 1000 can only handle terrain with less than a 15% slope, 25% at the max. You can see the mower getting stuck here. Once the grass was trimmed down, it did a little better on hills, but not enough to climb the big hills that I have. This shows the tracks through my 2200 square foot area after about 45 minutes of mowing. It's a small 7 inch wide track but the mower makes four to seven one-hour trips every day, ensuring every spot gets mowed. With that, here are my recommendations. First, do read the manual, cover to cover. There are some important things to know about laying your wire, setting up the schedule, and how to lay the guide wire, which is how the robot finds home base, the green line in this photo. Make a decent estimate of your mowing area in square feet or meters. The max this mower handles is about a quarter of an acre, that's nearly 11,000 square feet. Your area estimate helps you define what hours to allow your mower to work. I recommend laying your cable wire with the included stakes, not burying it, at least not at first. You're going to change some of your positions, and even if you don't, you want a good test before spending time burying the wire. You might not even have to bury it. After a week or so, the grass does a good job covering it. My wire is shown in red. They actually supply green wire, but this was so you could see it in my photos. Also, buy a few bags of Home Depot's lawn and soil filler. Unless your grass is putting green flat, the Rob 1000 will regularly get stuck. So fill this in with a few shovelfuls to help it out. Grass will grow through it, and your robot will be happier. Next, be prepared to adjust and tweak your wire, spending some time following your robot around, checking on it regularly the first few days. You may have to splice wire together here and there, another good reason not to bury wire too early. And you'll see the robot improve as the grass gets trimmed to a consistent height, your divots get filled, and your wire position is optimized. Plan on spending most of one weekend setting it up. The three things I like most about the Rob 1000 are the way it navigates through narrow passageways and it recharges itself every hour by finding home. It even varies its route home so as to not create a beaten path. That's good planning on McCulloch's part. Secondly, the book outlines a technique for using the home base to find breaks in your wire. I've had an in-ground dog fence before, and I know breaks will happen. Finally, I love that the Rob 1000 is whisper quiet. If you've ever been woken by an early morning lawnmower on your day off, you'll appreciate that this unit is electric and can only be heard when you're within a few feet of it. There are other great features too, so please read your manual cover to cover then set your bot up to take over that hot, thankless job of mowing. 